If you want to DJ with Spotify in your DJ software, it's now possible. In Algorithms DJ Pro on Mac and Windows, also in Rekordbox and also in Serato. In this video tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to do it in Algorithms DJ Pro. If you want to know how to do it in either of those other platforms, then there are links underneath. So DJ Pro has always kept things really simple. When you open the latest version of DJ Pro, it will give you two options, Apple Music or Spotify as a streaming service. Click on Spotify and you'll see this login page here. Once you've logged in using your Spotify premium account, you must use a premium account. It will ask you to authorize, to OK DJ Pro to connect with your Spotify account. And once you've connected with your Spotify account, it'll take you back to your software and Spotify will be the selected icon from your sources down here. You will see your library. I've got three playlists here in my library. And you will see in the main window, the tracks in the playlist that you select. So it works from your own library, but there is a way of searching the whole of Spotify. And so the way they do that in this software is this search window over here. So for instance, if I wanted to grab that new order song that I love, I can type new order into here, it will search. And then everything down here can be dragged onto the decks just like anything else and loaded, as you can see there, ready to play. You can't drag stuff from Spotify's main collection into your playlist here. I can't move that track from that playlist to that playlist or anything like that. But you can make your playlist in your Spotify app on your phone and do all the stuff you can always do in your Spotify app on your phone. And then it will show here in your DJ software. So the easiest way to manipulate your playlist on the fly, maybe you wanna make a quick playlist or get some requests or whatever, just to whip your phone out and do it that way. It's the same in Spot in Serato. We haven't tested it at the moment of recording this video in Rekordbox, but it's the same in Serato. There's no backwards link to Spotify to let you do that stuff. But as you can see, you can search the main library of Spotify as well. Now there are a few other features we spotted up here. If you click this little icon here, you can switch from searching in Spotify to just searching within the playlist that you're in as well. Uh, but you can also do that here. You can search in your playlists here if you want to search across your whole collection. There's a sort here for your Spotify playlist. Obviously, you're going to have more playlists than the three demo playlists that I have here. And also there is a filter here. So you can filter any playlist by BPM, by key, which looks a little bit buggy at the moment because it's got the key of C in there. But when I click this, gives me some Camelot keys. Uh, so I'm not too sure exactly what's going on there, uh, but you can sort by key and you can also sort by all of these things here as well, which is standard functionality in DJ and it works smoothly across Spotify as well. Now, if you log on and you don't see those intro windows that I showed you, then by clicking on the icon here, same way as I could click on Beat Source here, for instance, uh, then it will give you a login window for Spotify and then you log in and can play from there. Now you can see we're looking at the actual artwork here across our whole collection. Again, this isn't anything to do particularly with this platform. It works on all of them, but you click up here and you get this nice artwork view as well. There is the filter on and off to show these items I showed you here. Also, if you head into the DJ settings and to the library tab, then at the bottom you can choose Spotify quality between normal high and very high, which is a lovely touch. You can also log out of Spotify down there as well. Look, it's a very simple integration insofar as it works the same way that all the other integrations work more or less inside the software, but that's a good thing. The really big news is that it is Spotify. And look, there's a bit of history here. Spotify was the platform that you could get in DJ Pro before you could get streaming in any other software. And for a long time, DJ Pro had Spotify as it's kind of one of its unique selling points. And then it disappeared many, many years ago. In fact, we were the first people to see the value in this and to see where all this was going. I actually wrote a book about it over a decade ago called How to DJ in DJ Pro on your iPad and iPhone. And so it's good to see it back. It feels like a full circle moment to see this back inside DJ software, but it's also inside Rekordbox and Serato. Again, if you want to see the videos for that, they're underneath. So there you go. Finally, 2025, and this is how to DJ with Spotify in your DJ software, specifically in Algorithms DJ Pro. I hope you've enjoyed this. Do let us know any questions you have. Uh, we're here to help. Underneath this video, you can find comments where I'd be happy to jump in and give you a helping hand. Until then, get good, get out there, make the moments, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.